Right. Going on about coding overloaded. I'll just wait for everybody to come on and then we'll start streaming. Hey, Classics Race, how you doing, mate? For some reason, it's saying on this, um, well, it said something about encoding being overloaded. I hope you're not facing any troubles, because for some reason, OBS has started doing this now, even with recordings. Hopefully, I won't face any problems, because it's not saying any flames have been dropped. And the little box thing isn't isn't going orange or red it's remaining at green so i've decided that we're not doing pub trivia because you know the questions are repeating and to be honest it does get a bit boring after a while so i've got a couple more um trivia games i've got I think I've got blockbusters, but I don't think I've got the version Don has. The ultimate quiz, um, the Red Dwarf one, Word Hang, and might read to pop and might read to pop trivia. Hey John, how you doing? Hey Maltese, how you doing mate? <laughs> Please play Winnie the Shite and his orgy with Pokemon on the Sinclair Autistic Spec. Gym, or I will send you a Kleenex tissue smothered in shit. You were sincerely Nicky Borat. <laughs> okay, just okay, just give me a sec. I come just need to go for you know what. Thank you. 
and I have resumed. <laughs> You're not bad downstairs, just shut up. That's good. Well, at least, at least the stream seems to be going well at the moment because I haven't, you know, like had any like incredibly loud people upstairs. Because I mean, downstairs is okay. It's just kind of upstairs where I get the problems. Uh, cut off for feck's sake. No, it was actually a piss break. Well, I mean, it doesn't appear to be having any problems so far. I mean, uh, no frames have dropped. The the little box hasn't gone red or anything. I've been getting that message up a couple of times, but it seems to not be making any impact. Mm. <sighs> Excuse me. Request the world is not enough on the N64. Okay, I'll see if I can find that. Didn't even know there was a world is not enough game. I mean, I played GoldenEye quite a few times, but I've not heard a world is not enough. I know there was a um, Tomorrow Never Dies game on the um, PlayStation. Gonna get the controller out. I'll spank that's in another line. So I guess I have to go for the um, NTSC ROM. Because for some reason on the Wild ROMs website, the, the version, or at least the cover art for the your uh, PAL version is in some other language. Making up. <laughs> Start using the word smeg a lot more often, can't you tell? <laughs> I'm turning into Stefano using the word smeg a lot. Okay, the World Is Not Enough was released on the N64, was released a month before it's my never dies on the PlayStation. Okay. Yeah, because on the website I saw both versions. No, I would not make Andrew Heather an admin. I'd rather shoot myself than make him an admin. Right, let's load up some World Is Not Enough. I assume the control method is going to be similar to Goldeneye. So I don't have to figure anything out. It's the stoner. Hey, Jack. Yeah, 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 I don't care. E A, E A, E A, E A. Europe, come. Nobody gives a fuck. Just. 
Are you taking the piss? Come on. Now I'm all encouraged for N64 game of crap. Okay, so collect equipment and save your disposal. Bloody bloody blah. Yeah, 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 nobody cares. Let's just start a fucking game. Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? The name's Bond. James Bond. Ah, Mr. Bond. We have a safety deposit box waiting for you. Okay, so what's the point of it? But how am I doing? Oh. oh bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> well I can't well, I can't see I'll be fine. Just see how long before <laughs> Oh, snagging hell, hurry up. Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? The name's Bond. James Bond. Okay, so the ah, controls Mr. are identical to Goldeneye, but somehow a little bit wonky. Is policeman, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Best B, right, so... What a smegging hell. Yes, Mr. Bond. Your safety deposit box is ready for you in the privacy booth. Mm, what? I'm slightly confused. <laughs> Maybe it's because I haven't played this before, so I don't know what the smegging I'm supposed to be doing. Guess I'll rest the book woman. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Sorry to disturb you. I am so confused. I'm afraid no one gets to see Mr. Lachaise without an appointment, sir. Smack it. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't help you. Sorry to disturb you. What's the bit of the Pierce Brosnan? Is this Pierce Brosnan or is this someone else doing the voice? Oh my God, I look like a total idiot, don't I? I'm just walking around in circles wondering where the smack it I'm supposed to go. So you can't get out the door. Yes, that is a very nice painting. Yes. Look at it. Look at how crap it is. <laughs> mm, I've seen worse. When you go to a modern art exhibit, I've seen worse. Uh. Okay, so I'm just walking around. I'm so confused. Alright, so I don't know what that 
nagging Christ I'm supposed to do. <sighs> it probably would be good, but I just don't know how the hell you play it. It's not like it's not like Goldeneye where you get like some action almost immediately. I mean you can tell it's gonna probably be nowhere near as good as Goldeneye, but still. Have any of you been placing any problems? Because when I was playing that, there was a little thing that came up at the bottom saying something like encoding's running too high or something. Are you facing any trouble or is the stream going fine? Because, I mean, no frames are dropping and the little wasn't going red. Yeah, um, I know the film was Pierce Brosnan, but did Pierce Brosnan do the voice in the game or was it somebody else? Adam Blackwood. Okay. You know, I mean, it sounded quite good, honestly. You know, you, maybe it's just me being an idiot, but I could hardly tell the difference. It's probably just me being an idiot. <laughs> probably nothing now if I... That bond was... By a famous star of Greece, too. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, I just want to play this whenever somebody says something interesting. <laughs> okay, I think. I think the lag ruined the gag a little bit, but still. At last, I got to use that footage. Ah, oh, Smeg, the thing's gone red. Yeah, because, I mean, for some reason, I mean, this game itself, you know, the footage is painful. It's just the... Yeah, I mean, the game itself was quite similar, but it's just the audio was quite, you know, like, distorted. It was quite a bit... If, if that makes any sense, it was like it was cutting out or something. Any Goombas around? Not those Mario things. <laughs> no, last time I checked, there were no Goombas. They probably all died from Mario's countless STDs. <laughs> well, that was sudden. I've been thinking of starting the reviews. Oh, I love them all. Okay. Okay, Jack, you've uploaded a new video. I'll check that out at some point when I get the time. Tell your mum to stop watching porn in the other room. <laughs> I was, are you talking to me? Because like, because I can't hear any. Because I can't hear anything outside in these far depth reaches of my non-soundproofed room. Oh, you're talking about the buffering. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> I'm just playing with a little thing that came on the end of the um, USB lead for the controller. It was a joke, Jack. Maltese was just joking. At least I hope he was. <laughs> I 
Next game. <laughs> it was a joke, Jack. He just he just has a sense of humour. <laughs> Michael Barry must pull part in the entire cut. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it appears no frames have dropped, which is surprising. Can't see that. Oh, go box, yeah. <laughs> that was your own choice, Maltese. I mean, Jack, I wouldn't say he's a bad person, he's just, he's just a bit mad. <laughs> a bit like me. <laughs> no escape on the snares. All right. No escape on the snares. Yeah, saying you were mad, Jack. I mean, you are. Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. It's directed by Martin Campbell. Mm, I'm not sure if or not to use that joke again. Should I? Yeah, I'll use it. That joke will never get old. <laughs> so when did Ashen's last do a stream? Because for some reason, I've got the notifications set up to tell him when he's live, but I didn't get any notifications. Press. I've generally never heard of the film No Escape. Ah, oh, snake. A 
smack. Uh, so that point explains why. It's making dumb. <laughs> yeah, on that, um, the more you know thing. Give me the snake out! I'm fucking stuck! Ah, oh, smeg. This is weird. This really is weird. Maybe I'm just not used to it, but... It's probably just me. Ah, oh, smeg! Uh, that's how you get it out. I'm terrible at this. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't seem that bad, honestly. From yeah, yeah, press start. This doesn't honestly seem that bad. I mean, it's it probably could be better, but. Oh great, gotta fight this asshole. It takes a while to get started, that's one complaint. It takes... Damn motherfucker! Ah, <laughs> oh, Smeggy's a boss. Damn motherfucker! You considered playing it's stuttering. I don't know what the hell's wrong with OBS, it seems to be fucking up tonight. A smeg. Leave me alone, bastard. Haha, <laughs> asshole. Oh, <laughs> oh the guy just walks so nonchalantly. He's being chased by these weirdos and he's just <laughs> he's just walking past. He's saying he'd never heard of the game before either. But it was a question contributed by Oliver Harper. Okay. Oh Oliver Harper is brilliant by the way. If any of you've not Olive Harper's videos, watch them, they're brilliant. 
Yeah, he goes in depth about movie production. I'm pressing some fucking. Okay, so it takes a while to get started. That's one complaint. Oh, you fucker. Feck. worse so it's not it's not a, a fucking Christ all right so that is enough of what the hell is that called no escape now what does Jack want me to play again musher heard of musher have I got I'll see if it I'll see if I've got the ROM. If I don't have the ROM, then I'll just download it as the standard practice. Why the smeg is it? So that's um, Game Gear Genesis. Um, yeah, that's, that's... No, I don't have Musher. Musher! <laughs> Motherfucking bitch. <laughs> okay, so what is it called? There's a um, musher metallic uniframe soup and musher alest. Full metal fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mush metallic uniframe super or um, mush uh, Alice Alice Steve full metal fight. Oh, it's the other one because uh, the other one's Japanese, isn't it? And I can't read Japanese. I can't even speak fucking English properly. <laughs> so what the hell chance have I got to learn in Japanese? There you go. Sega! Couldn't help it. Hey Panini! Or Matt, whatever the hell you want to be called. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, mate? Where the hell is it? Go on, give me a sec. I'm not sure.
Right, let's play some Musha. If I can find it. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that for you, Maltese. Shut the hell up! There. So I hope that was satisfying enough for you. Oh, it's a sheer mark, isn't it? So well, that's the way you fire. Okay, so it's fart kill me. We didn't pop around. Oh, that's sorted it. Okay. <laughs> or maybe actually no, I should do it in a Windsor Davis voice. <clears throat> Shut up! <laughs> Set the dogs on the multi -stick. Ah, oh, back. It's not a bad game, this. Although, I'm useless at playing it. <laughs> Evidently. Sega! By the way, what does PPL mean? I'm sorry, I've never understood it. Megan Christ. I'm never gonna stop using the word smeg, am I? It's gonna be the smeg stream. And now this is more like it! This is bloody good. Hey Tom, how you doing? This, this, this is actually quite fun honestly, I mean... Yeah, you can see a lot of the... Must have been originally a Japanese game, because you get a lot of the Japanese um, architecture. That we sort of quite. Is this Chinese or Japanese? I mean, it's definitely Asian for sure. Fortnite is the best, you boomers suck. <laughs> like, and me. I've never played Fortnite, so. Smeg. <laughs> I don't know why I can't. I can't stop saying Smeg. Smeg, 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 smeg. <laughs> oh, feck. <laughs> smeg and feck. You PPL just suck. <sighs> I think I'll put him on time now. I don't... No. I'll give him a chance. If, if he does anything offensive, I'll give him a time out. Oh, Smeg, he is. 
That's my gears. Um, I'll put him on timeout. Sorry, I missed, I missed it before um, because I didn't realise what he'd written. I thought he said, like, set a dog for them or something like that. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'll put him on timeout. Uh, Maltese, um, since you are a moderator, you can um, block people and put them on timeout. I've put rules in the uh, description about the kind of stuff that is not tolerated. I, I know you still heard. I know you still heard, Jack. It wasn't you. It was somebody else. Some Tom bloke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, heck no. So I'll have one more go of this, and then I will. Then I'll play the next game. I'll buy another game. That's a warning for him. If he does it again, um, John, he'll be blocked. I've given him a second chance. <laughs> so I'm slightly disorientated as to where the hell I'm. I'm. Right, that was Russian, not not a bad game. Really quite fun. Um, I've just got a question. Um, I've put this in the chat because I can't be asked talking. Like does PPL. <laughs> Don't block me, it's my own stream. <laughs> yeah, I've got a few of the um, sort of abbreviated versions of words, but it's just PPL. I've seen it a few times, I'm just wondering what this making hell does it mean? Okay. Right, so who wants to play the next game then? Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. It's just some people have got very small penises and they like to take their anger out on others. It's ridiculous.
Oui, que je vais marcher. Paper end. Oh, it means people. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. Anyway, he's gone now, or at least he's temporarily gone. I've put him on a timeout. If he does it again, block it in. Do I have to just block him right away, or do I have to just give him a chance? You know, but it's just, thank God there's a block button. Yeah, can block the cunts. Anyway, let's continue with the stream then. That's good. That's good, Maltese. Right, do you wanna does anybody want to request the next game? Yeah, I know. Ah, and you know what? Sad it, I'll block him. Okay. Yeah, I've blocked him finally. Nessa, I think it's going to be the rule is if it's like somebody, you know. <laughs> who accidentally makes a bit of a cock up but then then I give them a timeout. But if but if it's a troll then they get blocked. Anyway, let's forget about him. He's blocked now. He's nobody's problem. Let's continue with the stream. What have I got? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what would be worth playing. I'm going to play the all-time classic. The classic game nobody likes. And I will play the slightly less shitty version. <sighs> Something just as bad. Oh hey, um, Heidi. Sorry, I can't pronounce that name. Hang on, I. Right, um, 
I don't, I don't know if I've got time for hanging my um I'm, I might do it after we after I've done uh, actually no it's just I don't know how to play hanging my sorry <laughs> Then I re attack. Well, I'm at eight, I'm well, nine, I'm starting the quizzes. So, so this might be the last game. That this will be the last game. Yes, he is one of the few. At least Bridget is better than that fucking pop stars game. Or Stroker. Yes, it is Savile Trolley. Oh, now, then, now. Oh, now, then, now, then, now, then, now. Get, get the child next to me. <laughs> I can't do a Jimmy Savile impression. That's something I want to learn to do, it's a Jimmy Savile impression. I'll tell you, this is slightly easier with the, um, with the controller. My god, he looks awfully happy. <laughs> What the smegger now? <laughs> Snake. I'm dead confused. Yeah, no, it's not Bridget Maltese. Not as bad as Bridget, but it's still quite bad. Ah, oh, snake. Alright. Bet you I'm gonna get laughed out of this stream for just how crap out of these games. Alright then, let's just move on to the quizzes! So, what quiz game do you want to play first? I've got um, Ultimate Quiz, um, uh, got Ultimate Quiz, I've got Word Hang, I've got uh, Trivial Pursuit, Baby Boomer, I've got... Oh, what else? What the f*** is making it laugh? So I've got... Um, Mike Reed's Pop Quiz, Question of Sport, what the snake in the hell else have I got? The Red Dwarf Quiz. Excuse me. Happy shop for the video game. <laughs> Happy shop for the video game endorsed by Rolf Harris. <laughs>
Do you want to have a go at word hang? Do you fancy a game of word hang? The Red Dwarf quiz. All right. Let's get going. So it was on the Amstrad CBC, if I'm not mistaken. Not, not the Amstrad CBC, sorry, the Amiga. All right, so this is the Champions Edition. This came out in 1994, about... This came out a year after Series 6, and about three years before Series 7. So, let's play the game. So this is quite unique music. So, what year was Red Dwarf the... What was the first screen of Red Dwarf? That would be... Uh, 1988. What happened to Jim and Bexley? They were returned to their mother. They were in... They returned to their mother. They died horribly. They left their drawer. They met an exile. Then they have them executed. <laughs> that would be quite amusing, honestly, if that was what Rimmer had his children executed. Well, technically, in if you've seen the episode of Future Echoes, one of the... One of them, it was... I don't remember which one. One of them died horribly, and they thought it was Lister, because they could see the Future Echoes. And... You've got some lag there, John. Because that was miles away. Um, they were returned to their mum. I know in the opening school to see they were returned to their mother, so I might go for B, but It's been a while since I last watched that episode, can't you tell? And my feet are fucking freezing. <laughs> so brilliant. Okay. <laughs> Stefano! Welcome to the stream! You just sit down, we're doing the Red Dwarf quiz. As you can probably tell. Mm. Yeah, hey, right. Hey, well, I'm not I'm slightly confused by the parallel universe, and I, I know in the parallel universe it was females of the dominant sex, and the males of the universe and children, so. 
Yeah, they were returned to the final, but right, so. Hey, it is, though. And I got a notification through saying that you hearted one of my comments. Oh, I can't seem to get out the this for some reason to say. Yeah, I'm gonna close. Um, right, close that. Right, so. So, why did Crichton not manage to make his garden? I never found a plant with an S3 atmosphere. There were no seeds around. Rimmer wouldn't let him go. He couldn't fly Starbug. He crashed into an asteroid. I do not remember a single plot about the fight and having a guard. Was this was this in a wreck? Was this like a book or something? Was this part of a novel or something? Or am I really that stupid? But I've not watched the entire series, or at least the entire BBC series in a few years. I mean, I've watched a, a few episodes, like, out of context. So Stefano and Classics says, Hey, I'll turn the volume down then. Right. Here it is. So how long was it? How long was it between the division and the screening? One year, two years, or you three, the five years? Uh, uh, they mentioned it in the Comedy Connections episode on Red Dwarf, but I honestly don't know the name. It's mentioned in the Opening Tech School's future episode. It was too quickly to read. <laughs> so it mentions Crichton has a so it mentions Crichton as a guy. I think I must have missed that part. I missed all Smeggy's things. I mean, all I knew was that Crichton had been like rebuilt. Um, Holly had a sex change. What else? So, multi says A. I don't think it was a year. I think it was. Gonna. I think the. The pilot script was written in 1993, so it's Around five years, maybe. Four or five years. Yeah, five years. I'm gonna guess five years, but I'll let I'll let the experts decide. Is that better? Yeah, fuck off, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah, 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 I could be wrong, it could be like 82, 83. I'm gonna guess five, but. I think I'll let Stefano decide this one because Stefano knows his Red Dwarf. Knows it a lot more than I do. Any better?
any better? Right, Stefano says D, so we'll go for D. We will never know if the answers were right. Where was the pilot script written for the series was written? At Rob Grant's County Mansion, halfway up the Welsh Mountain, in the Scottish Highlands, a Manchester McDonald's restaurant, or in Starbug One. It definitely isn't Starbug One, I can tell you that. I don't know if Rob Grant actually had a country mansion at the time. Um, if I had to guess, I would probably guess D, because of the fact that obviously the series was produced in Manchester. Or the, the, the initial few series were, and then it moved to somewhere else, I'm not sure where. I know the like, first few series was done in, within Manchester. Music is very loud. I'm gonna guess D. Right. I'm probably wrong. Right, that's it. So, how many times did they rewrite this script? Three, five, six, nine, or twelve? I don't know how I don't have any idea what to say about music is. Yeah, I'm guessing. I'll let more. Yeah, Stefano's gone for E, but he's not sure. I'll wait. I'll see if Maltese has an answer. This classic still here. It's getting out of. Winway. D. So Moppy says D, Stefano says E. I'll wait for. Is it worth waiting for John to come back? Or. Maltese changed his answer to A. <laughs> How do I keep saying Smeg? Why can't I just say fuck like a normal person? Oh, who the Smeg cares? I've got Red Dwarf on the mind.
I'm going mad and making strange noises. I'm a word you're not fucking right, George, yes. I'm a word George, you bastard. You bastard, George. Ooh, yeah, give me your complete bastard. I'm all fuck up, George. Manchester's McDonald's restaurant. Is that implying that there's a, is there a warm McDonald's restaurant in Manchester? Because I thought that. Shock a block. Um. Flying Funs, man. I can't believe I forget it. I thought it was Chock a block from McDonald's. Although. The only thing that's quite funny is. If you've got the DVD version of the episode Crichton, and this also finds funny shit on TV, they've edited one of the lines slightly when um, they're on the no when they're on the Nova Five and you see the dead crew and Rimmer says something like they've got less meat on them than a chicken McNugget, but they apparently McDonald's threatened legal action, so pretty much about any version after it was first broadcast, they muted out the muck part, and it if you watch it again, it sticks out like a sore thumb. It says something like, my says something like, you've got us meat on them and then chicken nuggets. <laughs> it sounds like that, it just doesn't sound right. I'm rebelling against my program master. <laughs> it's an owl. Um, it's a banana. It's no good, sir. I can't, just can't do it. Okay, welcome back, John. Um, can you answer this question? <laughs> oh, it's getting slightly mad. I'm not gonna fuck any that fucking ride, George. I'm not gonna fuck any that fucking ride, George, you bastard. Ooh, yippee, you could be bastard. I'm not gonna fuck up, George. I reckon I should just do a stream where I'm doing it entirely in Zippy's voice. I'm a wish your old friend Zippy Twat, he hosts the live stream for you, blah, 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 you bastard. I think the voice is going a little bit. I've not done it in a while. I'm a wish that fucking right, Jeffrey, yeah? <laughs> I'm a I'm a you bastard. Yeah, well, let's get out through the ship that I mean, have a little drink. <laughs> um, the question is, how many times was this script rewritten? Three, five, six, nine, or twelve times. The bastard. Stop making stupid noises with your cheeks. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll go for A then. It doesn't help that fact it doesn't tell you. So you get them right or wrong. So, why did Grant and Naylor want BBC backing and not ITV? One, they didn't want adverts in the middle, two, they didn't like ITV free, the BBC paid them more, or the ITV wasn't interested to find the BBC gave them the biggest set.
So is it related to this current question or is that, or is it lag? I mean, I don't think there's anything to do with adverts because the mood of the series today, which has adverts. I'm a rash fucking correct George. He'd stop doing that. I'm gonna be with the fucking fighting. I'm a real bastard. Multi is done before. Stephanie's still here. Uh, do this, I'm just wondering, does this game for an end, or... Is it like... Sort of it just goes, and 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 Right, nobody's answering, so I'm gonna go for four, then. So, which region accepted Red Dwarf? That's obviously BBC uh, North West. What was the... What was new about... Red Dwarf 4 that subsequent series didn't. Filming location changed, the budget was reduced, no frame the sets with filmies. Um the sets for cleaner. I mean I can't really tell the difference between that and series 3. The sets were cleaner and nothing else. I know the end credits changed because I know they changed the font of the credits they didn't have that footage of Red Dwarf and it didn't say something like I think they changed it to say like Rant and Nailer as opposed to I know for series 1 it didn't say anything it just said something like directed by Ed By and um, copyright BBC 1987 Series 2 and Series 3 said um, for Paul Jackson production for the BBC. Um, or rather, a Paul Jackson production for BBC. Hey, of course, I agree. What made episode Dimension Jump and Meltdown different from others? Lister had a stand in, Holly didn't appear, the theme music was characterised, the episodes were written by Ed By, there were no differences. When we get there, I'll be back for breakfast. Is Stefano still here? He might, he might be able to help us here. I think Holly appeared in... I think Holly appeared in Blow. D, it is. Okay, that was the first ten questions. Not difficult. Hey, you, your score is six. Now it's... Now it's time for you to have a coffee. Be whatever's your poison. And prepare for the next ten questions. These are all based on Dave Lister. Press L and B. This makes L and B. Oh my god, I don't even know how the fuck my emulators work. Oh, 
Oh, Snake, what did I do? What did I just do? What did I just do? Oh, Snake, what did I just do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, God. Trying the left mouse. Oh, Becky. No, oh, Beck, I think the game's crashed. Well, that was fun for a while. Well, you do get to see how much he scored out of. That's all I can say. It's good. Yeah. I suppose the reason why they don't want you to see your answers is because if it tells you exactly what answers you got wrong, You'd know. Yeah, I think I'd crash because I'm trying everything and it wasn't progressing. So, I quit it out. Ah, Meg. Well, never mind. We'll go on to the next quiz. And you're not for ultimate quiz. Yeah, we'll do a bit of ultimate quiz. Um Do it quickly, John. Um, what model of a CP, what model of Amiga do you use for Ultimate Quiz? Blockbusters, right? We'll play Blockbusters then. Let's Blockbusters. Um, John, what version of Blockbusters do you have? A1200, right, so, right, so, we're not playing the, we're not playing the ultimate quiz, we're going to be doing blockbusters, but which, which version do you have, because, what version do I even have, I forgot, oh, where the snag, 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 so I've got the CBC Right, I've got the... Alright, it's coming. Because well, I think I've got the wrong ROM. I've got a different version of the ROM. I've got the Domark version, so... Let's play some blockbusters! <laughs> Do you film bloke? Notorious for stupid voices. I'm not talking about my own, I mean. Just an old... Oh, smag. Well... Well, that has a. That has a. Need to resolve this. There. So, demo version of blockbuster. Super, super. 
Right. This is your entertainment, folks. Dude in from work doing stupid voices. Okay, so it appears no frames are dropping at the moment, which is always good. Yeah, don't mark. I've got the don't mark version. Block bus. Bath. Which question block do you want to start with? Okay, let's let everybody aside. One, right. One, give us a one, please, Bob. Blockbusters. All new. Fucking you anymore, lads. Number of players, that'll be one. Name of the player. Sh bollocks. Actually, no, I'll call it Smeg. Smeg head. Just trying to remember how to pause. F7, right. So, difficulty level. One, right. Or when it is. Okay, so what D is any flower that has made it's probably not Daisy. Daisy, Daffodil. Jack, your keyboard's stuck. <laughs> 400, 419. It's not as funny as 420, though. <laughs> Daffodil? Double stain. Is that a... <coughs> I knew that was probably a joke answer. I knew it wasn't Jack. <laughs> So Maltese is saying Daisy or Dandelion, I need a hundred percent. Don't make porn references, you cheeky bastard. 
<laughs> Smeg off. <laughs> I can't stop saying smeg tonight. Geranium. Unfortunately, my smelling. Um, unfortunately, my spelling is somehow worse than yours. <laughs> That's quite an accomplishment. <sighs> no, the collect hands. No, no, it should be saying type, type, pronounce, my god. <laughs> only pops up when I'm whistling. Doesn't like me whistling, apparently. You don't know. Okay. So we need a hundred percent answer. Is it dandelion or geranium? I guess I probably might go for geranium, but I'm not a flower expert. Can't you tell? Stop whistling, I'll whistle the I'll whistle all the bloody I like. But I'm gonna whistle some more just to annoy you. Drum no no. Is that a real flower or are you taking the piss? I'll go for geranium. If it's wrong, I'll kill you, John. Wrong answer. Double. Okay, so uh -huh. so what H is a point at which the fire the fire brigade smack. Uh, 
<clears throat> what H is a point at which the fire brigade can connect hoses to to water? Ah, oh, Smeg, I don't know. Um, crap. Hydrant. Yeah, of course, it's hydrant. Correct answer. What do you want to go for next? Give me just a second, I'm just going to respond to Stefano's comment. Let me just see. G. Okay, so G, G. Give us a G, please, Bob. So, what G is the thick drink or thin food made with oatmeal? I don't know! <laughs> I don't fucking know! I'm terrible! Hurry up. I oh, will do, I just don't know what the fucking answer is. <laughs> so, what G is a thick drink or thin food that you make with? With oatmeal. Grain? Classics is going for grain, but he's not sure. I'll wait for somebody else to come in. Grain? A drink? Never heard of it. Guinness. So, classes is as grain. Multi says gin. <laughs> gin. Oatmeal is gin. So, multi has gone for hundred percent. 
If it's not Guinness, I'll kill him. <laughs> not really. Don't be scared. Guinness. Wrong answer, it's Gruel. Okay, so what A is a list of things to be dealt with at a meeting? Activities? Is it activities? I'm just going to note it down here just because for some reason I'm crap at spelling directly onto the thing. Activities. <laughs> Agenda. So I've said activities. John's gone for agenda. <laughs> Class has gone for anal. I doubt he actually means it. And uh, let's see. We need a hundred percent here. Right, and Maltese has said agenda, so let's it must be agenda then. If it's activities, I will be annoyed. Agenda. Correct. What do you want to go for now? E, give us some E, please, Bob. So, e, give us an E, please, Bob. So, what E are the mongoloid people of the Arctic? Mongoloid. C is for C for cunt, please, Bob. <laughs> yeah, John beat you. So, Eskimo. Of course, Eskimo, I guess. Right, Eskimo. I'm, I'm such an idiot. I, <sighs> well, I admit I couldn't have probably spelt it anyway. Aspect. Eskimo. What the feck? <laughs> come on! Ah, oh, come the fuck on! Are you taking the piss? It you couldn't even get it off right. It's the same fucking word, mate. It's just got two letters removed. Are you taking the piss? <sighs> For fucking hell! For fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! <laughs> Oh, 
back. <laughs> uh, 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 anyway, what? Why is the Arabic Republic south of Saudi Arabia? Wyman, but Stefano's not sure. Usually, Stefano knows his stuff, so I might go through him. If nobody else answers, I'll go for him. Yes, I know we're out. And you know what I did? Absolutely nothing. Couldn't have cared less, frankly. I couldn't, I couldn't honestly care less. At least the news will show up about it. Oh, God. Look, I'm just as glad to get out of the... <sighs> okay, I'm just as glad to get out of the EU's next guy, but don't rub it in everybody's face. And this also applies if you're pro-European. Don't rub it in my face. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why do I keep hitting OK? Correct. So. Should I put him on timeout or not? See, give us a C, please, Bob. That's uh, fact. So, what C is a type of tank or the leader of a tribe? Top two. Controller? Is it controller? I already have given him a warning. I've told him. I've told him it's all right to be anti EU, but you don't have to shove it down my throat, all right? If that's what I've told him. Goes on, I'm gonna put him on time out. If he says anything right, then I'll block him. Okay. Oh, for feck's sake, all right. <sighs> all right, he's using slurs, block him. I'm sorry, even if you try to censor your slurs, mate, it's not going to work. Yeah, I think Coon and another one. Coon and Wog, I think, are both slurs. Okay, so John's competent on his answer. I'll go for John's. From Long, crucify him. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
close enough chieftain. <sighs> Will I stay accepted on like fucking Eskimo? Oh, for fucking hell, not again. Now we've got the racist ones coming in. I mean, I want to start as the next time, but Jesus Christ, I'm not fucking racist about it. Yeah, no, I've blocked him. I'll just put this as a warning. Okay, so John's gone for FS. Give us an F, please, Bob. Uh, damn. <laughs> We're nearly running out of time. So, what F predict precedes glove? Hat and trot. Fox? Is it fox? What the fuck? Uh, fox hunt, fox trot, fox glove? Is it fox? I'm not sure. Fox, so John's agreeing with me, it's Fox. I'll go for Fox. Mr. Mulder. Fox Mulder. FBI. Correct! So what next? Oh, for fuck, fuck you. Jesus, fuck. Is it just because I said I'm glad we're out, I'm gonna get fucking people being fucking racist? Fuck, I know the fucking cunt won't give up. But I'm just gonna keep blocking him. Q, 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 give us a Q, please, Bob. Oh, smeg. What queue is the landing place 
effects of a wharf for loading and unloading. Definitely it's just because I'm not majorly pro-European that they want, that they think I'm f fucking racist. Because here's the thing though, it's there's different reasons why I want us out. It's nothing to do with immigration. I'm not a racist prick. Excuse me. So QE says Maltese. But it's a guess, so. Okay, so what are this? Okay, so. How, how are the fuck you pronounce that word? It is then. Correct! I'll go for M actually, because we're already running. I'll, I'll, I'll pick M because we're already running out of time, as it is. Because this is running longer than I was expecting. What well, M is a well-known Italian soup? I don't know. I might be sounding a bit racist, but Stefano might know. Because he's Italian. Or partially Italian. Or but whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to sound racist. I'm just one saying he might know. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to learn to keep my feckin' mouth shut. <laughs> oh, feckin' Christ. <laughs> oh, feck. Oh, feck, who now? Administrating. <laughs> oh God Almighty! Uh, mm. Okay, so nobody else is going to answer. Either that, or either that, or I've accidentally upset Stefano. If I have, sorry, mate. <laughs> God, fuck me. <laughs> All right. Close enough. 
Okay, so you know, so I'm just going to click B just because. Well, just because. Well, it's going to waste me what amount of time as it is. So, give us a B, please, Bob. It's Barry. J.M. Barry. Oh, for feck's sake. Oh, for feckin' hell. Oh, shit. Shit. What X is Roman for 99? Is that in Roman numerals? God, fuck me. Yes, I think it's XIX, honestly. I think I'll just put bollocks. Damn it. Okay, so Stefano's saying XCIX, so. XCIX. Correct. I hate bollocks. Fuck off. He did, Stefano, but I blocked him in time. It's just racist bigots being racist fucking bigots. So what should I go for now? Fuck's sake, it seems like more racist bigots are coming onto YouTube. I'm sorry, but racist bigotry is not allowed on YouTube. W, right. Oh, fuck. W please, Bob. So, what W can be Bay, Shas, Bow, or Casement? <laughs> w for Hanker, please, Bob.
<laughs> I don't think it's wank. Water bow or a sash water bow. What a casement. So I'll go for I'll go for Stefano's answer. He usually knows better. Win uh, Correct. Oh, Snake, what did I just do? Alright. Well, I guess we'll be missing out on the spouse dance tonight, but... Well, actually, it doesn't matter anyway, because I won't be doing it. Anyway, that's the end. Anyway, here comes close to another stream, and this is a very quick disclaimer for anyone who isn't any of you guys. Yeah, you're right, Stefano. <laughs> um, this is for the racist bigots out there. Please do not make fucking racist comments in my live chat, all right? Racism, bigotry, sexism, whatever, will not be tolerated. Even, even if you're anti-European, you... Oh, for fuck's sake. There goes another one. Look, racist bigotry will not be tolerated, all right? If you if you say anything racist or attack any person in my chat, you will be blocked automatically. I'm not giving you the time out luxury. Okay? Case closed. Anyway, that's it for the moment. Until next time, goodbye. I'll just wait for everybody else to say goodbye. Hell, seems after Brexit, everybody's lost their fucking shit. Can I see you all next time. Goodbye. Ciao, my little droogies. Video well, little brothers, video well. If I can find the end screen. <laughs>